My name's Ross, I'll be your storyteller, and our driver today is Jerry. Hey. It's away! Drive for a resident joker. Yeah. <laughs> well, then we'll add that to your list of list of titles and accomplishments, Jerry. What can I say? I'm good looking as well. Oh, yeah. That goes without saying. Just on the right there, we're just passing the American Embassy, where in 2011, President Barack Obama arrived with his two massive armoured cars, Beast 1 and Beast 2, and proceeded to get both of them stuck coming out the gate there. Uh, a bit too wide to come out the gate. But Dubliners being Dubliners, we all, you know, push forward to give them a push, give them a hand. We were sort of waved away by those scary gentlemen in dark suits and glasses. So we all went off and had a 30 euro cup of coffee. Another joke. Oh, here we go. It's all in the sleeves. I've actually always wanted to go to one of those guys and just go, what's down the sleeve? <laughs> you got cards down there or something? So actually coming through the, well, it really was a, a village, the village of Balls Bridge. It still has a, a little village feel to it. But as the city grew and grew and grew, it just became part of the metropolis. And I think we've got one person to actually thank for how the city expanded on the south side. And it was, his name was the, the Duke of Leinster. And he was a, quite a young noble guy. He was quite the party animal as well. He had... Most of his lands were actually on the north side of the county, but it is